uh, Boatard. Uh, it is Monday the 19th of February, so we're halfway through the month. And it's a beautiful day here. It's just gone 4 p.m. Been lovely on the beach today. Uh, last week, unfortunately, we did have our winter, all three days of it. But now it's back to what Portugal does best and what the Algarve does best. Lovely and sunny. So let's have a walk along the beach and show you what's going on. It's a lovely day today. People are in the sea enjoying themselves. Uh, it's gone 4 p.m. Getting a little bit, uh, well, it's still very, very warm, but it was positively hot earlier. And it's the uh, middle of February. So you definitely can't complain. Lovely sandy beach. Nice vibe here at the moment. Uh, quite a few children around. I think it must still be uh, half term or, or something back in the UK. Uh, but wow, what a great time to come out. Especially as I hear in Northern Europe, the weather is not being so kind. It's uh, rainy. And even in California, it's pouring with rain uh, at this moment in time. They've got a, a big storm coming in. So really, you can't get much better than here on the Argyle. Lovely, lovely day. Over in the distance, you might see a, uh, that blue hotel. That hotel is called Innertel. It's a, uh, uh, a nice place to sit on the balcony, have a drink. Also, if you're a digital entrepreneur, digital worker, a digital nomad, they have a free cyber cafe there. Uh, everything free. Uh, the workspace, the water, um, high-speed high Wi-Fi. It's uh, an initiative by the council to encourage more digital work, work uh, people to come here, digital nomads to come here. Uh, also, outside in the Tel Hotel, you have a bar which is called. Uh, what is it called? I can't remember. But anyway, they do they do um, yoga right outside. Um, on Fridays from 10 a.m. So if you're interested in doing yoga on the beach, that's a great place to do it. Yep, lovely day. Oh, got caught out then. Got wet shoes now.
If you are coming down to uh, Abafera, I can definitely recommend all of the uh, restaurants in front of you overlooking uh, overlooking the beach. The one on the left, the stone one, that's actually called the Ruin. And it's part of the old fort that was built by the Moors um, to protect the, the harbour, the fishing harbour, uh, when the Moors were here and occupied this part of uh, Portugal. But now it's a very nice restaurant. It is expensive, but it's a lovely place. But any of the restaurants along here, a great place to sit outside, have a drink, watch the world go by. And just behind these bars is one of my favorite places, a pokey bar, it's called Splash. So if you like uh, uh, funky teas and really healthy breakfasts or healthy lunch, that's a great place to go. There's more restaurants at the top and there's an escalator that will take you from the square to the top so you do not have to walk up there or walk down.
They look like they're having great fun. You can walk along the cliff road along here and again there's plenty of bars and restaurants that have food and drink. Just sit outside, join the view, join the weather. I do have to pinch myself at times, it is the middle of February. And it's beautiful, lovely. So this is the bar, it's called the Waterfront Bar, and just outside here, Friday, 10 a.m. on the beach, Nicola does her yoga class, uh, year 2024, so prices are currently 18 euros, and that includes a full breakfast, either a nice healthy omelette and salad, or full English breakfast. Uh, Nicola also does um, Fu Moon parties, Kaku parties, Reiki. Um, so a lot of a lot of health conscious activities. So I'll try to leave a link to Nicola below. And over here is Innertail Hotel. So you can see people in there at the bottom uh, in the uh, that's behind the glass panel. That is the Digital Nomad Club. I mean, what a view. You can do your work, free of charge, free water, free Wi-Fi, and you've got this stunning, stunning view. Again, I'll try and leave a, a link to this below, or Google Albafira Digital Nomads. When it's busy, you do have to book ahead. Uh, but at the moment, there seems to be plenty of spots left. Yeah, if you're not a resident, you can still get a drink here. And it's very, very reasonable. Uh, so again, a lovely terrace, sit outside and enjoy these wonderful views.
So there you have the entire length of Albufeira Beach. See Albufeira back in the distance. That's where the old town is. And this is the far end. A lot of people say, Mark, can I get to the new town from here? Well, yes, you can. You can go up the steps over there and you can walk along the cliffs. It's challenging, so you need to be pretty fit and it's very steep at parts, but you can walk along the cliffs um, to the beaches at the bottom of the old town where the strip is. But you do need to be uh, pretty fit and not scared of heights and you need to be very careful. Uh, otherwise, just get an Uber. Ubers are really cheap here. Or you can get Bolt. Bolt is even cheaper. But we're a short distance from uh, the Strip. And so if you're in the Strip and you want to come down to the Old Town, yeah, you definitely need to do that. It's beautiful here. Uh, lovely day. Just to remind everyone, this is February. And it's just, just gone past half past four. So half past four on the Monday. Well, I lived in the UK at this time of year, Monday, 4.30, pretty dark and dreary. Here, it's stunning, lovely and warm. So if you're thinking of coming out to Portugal for a few days or a week, out of season, and you're worried, this is what it could be like. A lot of the times at this time of year, the weather can be stunning. Yes, you may get the odd uh, rainy day, but when it's like this, it's all worthwhile. So uh, book your holiday, and hopefully I'll come and see you in Portugal, in Albufeira. And if you say hello, Mark, who knows, I might even buy you a drink. So uh, enjoy, see you next time, guys. Bye.